What's going on guys? Welcome back to another installment of Huggies Beer Reviews. This is kind of a, an impromptu um, video because I'm still on the road. I'm still in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. I'm still at the Red Roof Inn. And this is basically a continuation of the review I did for the Fat Tire Amber Ale from New Belgium Brewing. Uh, the reason for that is because I'm bringing you another beer from the New Belgium Brewery in Colorado. I'm bringing you this. I saw it today. I picked it up. I said, well, time to do another review. This is Somersault. The summer seasonal ale from New Belgium. Now, again, remember, New Belgium is a big name in the world of craft beers, but their distribution is not nationwide. In other words, they're not distributed in certain states, i.e., Florida, where I'm from. So I've been hearing about their beers, New Belgium and Fat Tire, for a long time, and I never got a chance to try them because they were not available anywhere in Florida. And while I'm out here in Iowa, I was lucky enough to run into both Fat Tire, Somersault, and the Ranger IPA, which I had on draft before. So, you know, I had the Ranger on draft. I can't really bring you a review on that. I brought you the re review on Fat Tire, even though I'd had it on tap beforehand. But now I'm bringing you the Somersault, and I have no idea what to expect from this beer. Never had it, never knew about it. We're going to do it in a second. Of course, I already brought you yesterday. I recorded it yesterday, a review for Fat Tire. And I didn't even notice until after I did the review, but there's usually a bicycle right there. That's their whole logo. Fat tire is the tire on the bike. Um, and if you actually look at the, uh, the bottle, yeah, no, no bike. The bike's on the back. I don't know if you can make that out. It says, where'd you take the bike on a joyride? Uh, fat tire stories, bike giveaways, and beer at newbelgium.com. So they're doing a little promotional thing. Usually the little bike is propped up next to the tree there. That's their whole logo. Matter of fact, the Buffalo Wild Wings, where I first had this on tap, had a big neon New Belgium, and their logo is the frickin' bicycle. So that's kind of cool. But uh, Fat Tire Amber Ale, that's their flagship. That was a good brew. I enjoyed it. A very simple, sessionable ale. Um, you know, great to wash down food with. Nothing spectacular, but n I mean, but still a well-made beer. So. Now, sadly, again, we're in the hotel room, so I don't have my glassware. I'm stuck with another little plastic cup. But now, we're going to get into Summer Salt, their seasonal summer ale. And before I crack it open, let me read what it says here. It says, Summer Salt Ale is a fun roll around on the tongue and a perfect summer lounge around beer that is easy to drink. Color is blonde with a suggestion of amber. Summer Salt tumbles out with citrus aroma from Centennial Hops, a tuck of soft apricot fruitiness, Completed by smooth, upright finish with oats that were fermented in a long, slow mash. Somersaults all around. Okay. That was written in a kind of an odd way, but okay. Um, and just to give you an idea here, um, this is Somersault from New Belgium Brewing in Colorado, Beer Advocate. Out of 143 reviews, it receives a B+. The bros, the guys who run Beer Advocate, give this thing an A. Um, it's categorized as an American blonde ale at 5.2 alcohol by volume. And you know what? I realized on the Fat Tire review, I had punched up Beer Advocate and everything, and I forgot to mention it. So real quick, just to let you know, for those who haven't had Fat Tire, maybe you've heard of it and never had it, whatever, um, Fat Tire Amber Ale, out of 1,526 reviews, it gets a B, categorized as an American Amber at 5.2%. And the bros consider that a B. So just to get that out the way and throw it out there. But we're not talking about Fat Tire today. We're talking about Somersault, an ale brewed with natural flavors. Brewed and bottled by New Belgium Brewing, Fort Collins, Colorado, USA. And again, this has a best before date, 04 September 11. It's 7 11 so once again, we're good. Break out my uh, little keychain here. Tommy Knocker Brewery, bottle opener. And off we go. You know, this sucks to not have proper glassware. You know, I hate beer out of plastic cups. I don't know what I hate more. A good beer out of the bottle or a good beer out of a plastic cup. They're both, they both kind of seem insulting to a good beer. But regardless, um, this plastic cup is going to throw off the color a little, but I will definitely say that this is blonde. Go here. Oh, yeah. This is almost like a lager color, like a very, very light yellow kind of thing. 
it's probably darker than your typical lagers and your piss water Budweiser's and Miller's and all that but it's still a light color um, white slightly fizzy but still kind of dense head hmm hmm I wouldn't say citrusy hint of citrus and very earthy kind of like a citrusy grassy kind of thing lemongrass with a touch of orange still inviting and it just it smells refreshing it smells like the kind of beer you want to have after cutting the grass after working on your car you know after spending some time outside on a hot summer day it is a summer seasonal beer number three from New Belgium I've been indulging let's see what uh, let's see the third time's a charm interesting I start drinking it and it's kind of mild up front the body's really light I was about to say this is like a typical lager you know this is like a, a Miller Lite kind of thing you know it's a, it's a mellow watery kind of summery beer and then I got this bitter kick on the finish the hops it's like this grassy earthy citrusy kick and it's not like super hoppy it's not resinous it's not IPA hops but it's clean and strong and bitter and sharp and I like it I hate to say this please don't take this the wrong way but it kind of reminds me of a Heineken like one of those um one of those euro lagers like a, like a German or a or a Dutch lager you know something that's relatively simple up front but then kind of has bitterness towards the end that really helps clean out the finish this has a really strong bitter cleansing finish but yet the body is very light there's not a lot of malt there's not a lot of heft there's not a lot of denseness it's just a good summer beer you know between this and the fat tire they're ales but they're so crisp and they're so refreshing they're almost lager like as far as being good beers to drink when you're thirsty you know after working outside or to wash down some food they're not very complex but they're still very well made there's still flavor there's still quality there but it's still just so simple and so drinkable oh yeah citrusy grassy earthy finish A hint of, of uh, a hint of like a breadiness, a light breadiness to the middle, to the to the multi character of the beer. But as far as craft beers go, this is almost a light body. This is easy to drink and refreshing. I like it, and. Even though it's light and crisp and all that stuff, it's still 5.2%, so that's still a pretty good, decent ABV. And I don't know if you can make it out, but my plastic cup has all kinds of lacing on it, so that's really cool. You know, I considered grabbing one of my glasses and throwing it in the duffel for moments like this. Like, let me have at least one decent beer glass, and I didn't do it. Now I regret it. So we're drinking uh, New Belgium out of hotel room plastic uh, mouthwash cups but it is what it is. This is Summer Salt from New Belgium. It's their summer seasonal. I really like it for a crisp, refreshing blonde ale. A good summer beer, a good lawnmower beer. Um, yes, it's a craft beer, and yes, it's good, and yes, that head looks like, like a shake. My God, that's just thick and smooth and frothy, and yeah, this is a well-made beer. By the style, it's crisp and light, not a lot of flavor. You know, it's not going to smack you in the face with flavor, but it's still good and well done, and kudos to New Belgium. I've had three of their beers and I've been impressed by all of them. Uh, my least favorite was their IPA but again I want to have that again in a controlled environment but as far as the fat tire and the somersault stand up stand up beers this as far as a summer ale as far as a blonde ale I'll give this a glass full just because this there's there's no there's no lager on the shelf out there you know no other summer beer that can compete with this as far as drinkability and refreshment and I'll leave it at that. Um, glass full for summer salt and that ends my two-part Iowa Cedar Rapids Red Roof Inn 
Plastic Hotel Cup New Belgium beer reviews. Cheers, thanks for watching, and I'll be back soon with videos from my house with real glassware. Alright, take care guys. Later.